Zohar Chelik Aleph Vayetze Daf Kuf Samech Talad Sof Amud Aleph Sof Amud Aleph is Korbani Laf Mili Shavu Gomer. So in Zohar Vayetze it says about my korbanos, my bread to the fire, to my fire Korbana Vigomer Korbana De Kuchu Brichu B'Chol Yoma Begin Le Mezan Alma that the sacrifice to the Holy One Blessed Be He is each day in order to. Sustain the world, Lumehav Sipukala Ilavasata, and to give uh, the sustenance above and below. Daha Pisarus of the Lasata is Arla Ela, that with an arousal, that it's since an arousal from below awakens above, Ubida Mistapkin Kolchad Kedekayos, and with this, uh, satiated each one according to its need. As korbani lach mi adau dechsev, my korban, my bread, like it's written, achal ti yari im divshi. I've eaten my honeycomb with my honey. Adau dechsev ichlurein v'gomer, like it says, eat my friends. And it says shtu v'shichur dodim. Perish b'zo zo hari chamam zayin chesmem v'zel shono. And uh, and it says. In uh, Sefer, a parish on the Zohar, Zayn Chesmem, the Habi Serus of the Lasata, so his Orus Hakorbana Olema Hakohanim, that um, with an arousal from below, it's in a secret of the awakening from, be- uh, from the arousal from below of the Korban, the Haolema Hakohanim that goes up from the Kohanim, the Levim Visraelim. Shehem ori midosehem lamayla, that they awaken their attributes above uh, through their bringing of the korban, the kohanim and their avoda, and the levim, their shira and zimra in Israel, and their maimut. Hagahinu chagas, and these three correspond with chasik vortiferes, vegam alide his chabrus chagas ori mehabina, and so too through. All of them uni- uniting together in this service, it awakens from Binal, Derech Bishlosha Omnim Nivarich. Like the idea of when you have three, you say Nivarich, that will, will, you are able to have a Zimun, meaning you draw down from higher. Like it says that the, their Aguda, Aguda, their gathering, their group, is founded upon the earth. Uh, there's some kind of perush of how do you have when you have an aguda together, a group of people, like a zimun, able to draw down from higher, um, from bina lachor. Obedam is tapkin shegormim hayichud ubaim birchos brachos laolam, and with this we're satiated and we cause a union, and the blessings come down to the world. And it says, like it's written, that I ate my honeycomb. It comes to uh, weigh in how the sacrifice is called the bread and the food of the Holy One, Blessed Be He. What's this korban? I've eaten my honeycomb. And so in Zohar Pinchas it says, I've eaten my honeycomb dots, losa demiyushav. That refers to the prayer that we say sitting down. And with my honey, that refers to the reading of Shema. And Shem, look over there. And that is because now prayer is in the place of the korban of Aimi Zebul Kudi Torah B'Shir Asher Ibn Bara Maschil Ani Yishayin of Libier and look in the Mimer about how, how I am sleeping but my heart is awake V'Sham Perek Beis B'Di Bara Maschil Ibn Bara and the Mimer about how you have awakened my heart my uh, the one whom I'm attached to my bride so if Perek Beis Perish the Lach Mi Laham Shich Yili V'Chayus or Ein Sof Baruch Hu, that there it explains that my bread is to draw down the revelation of life and light from the infinite may be blessed. Nebuchadnezzar Sovif Kolalmin 
Bebechinas memalakolam, and from the, that which encompasses the worlds to, the, to that which it fills the worlds. So it's bread is like a giving of life. When you eat bread, you are sustained with life. The life that's beyond you into the inner life. And we can say that through the concept of my honeycomb, that's Yotzer or I guess the brachos of Kriyashma and Yinsraf, that through the brachos of Kriyashma, where you're talking about the Malachim, the fiery angels and the uh, animal angels, we draw down external union, the Abba Ima. Of the mother and father, lahachios haolamos, to enliven the worlds. So that's the honeycomb. But through the honey, which is the greeting of Shema, mesikus ahavas haneshamos, to the sweetness of the love of the souls, mamshichim yichud hapnimis hapnimi, we draw down the inner union, not just the chitzonius from the malachim, but the inner union, shemizen nimshach yichud zun, that from this. You, inner union, you have the Yichud Zun, not just Yichud Ava, Laholid Nishamos, to draw, to draw down souls. Now, usually we say Kriya Shema is the Yichud Ava, but in Bria and um, Shemona Esfad is Yichud Zun in Atsilas. But here it says that the Yotzer Or is the Yichud Chitzonis, which is Yichud Chitzonis Ava, and the Yichud Panimi is Kriya Shema. To give birth to souls, and it's the difference between uh, Malachim and the Shamos. It seems to be a different beer. or Pasha and the intention is the union and tying together of the supernal attributes. I mean, that's what it means, my bread. So again, Lachmi is like Yari and Divshi. Like it's brought in the mime rhyme that I, I'm sleeping, but my heart is awake, that it's drawn down life force and light from the infinite, maybe blessed, so to speak, to unite and connect with his attributes. Maybe we'll ask Gemara Shikaz of Azor, Vekama Guf in the Kinos Lonchu, like it says that there's a number of bodies that you've affixed for them, that they're called Guf in the Gam Nishmas, that they're called. So, so anyways, that those are the Midos and the Ein Sof that goes in them. Um, that's the the life force, the the Lachmi. Vayim Biger So Kodesh Shemin Gimel Di Baramas Chol Biab Yil Bash Tzedaka Atam Shein So Esher Shvirus Nikra Gufin. Look in Tanya, where he talks about that he wears staka like a uh, suit of armor. It, it speaks of the reason that the ten spheres are called bodies in comparison to the soul that goes in them. Where he talks about the, how a, an oath. So in Zohar, Yisro talks about how an oath is the life of the king. Because the is called the king. And the life of the king is that which is drawn to him from Bina. Again, a concept of life of Zohar, to the Midos, similar to the Lachmi Leishai. If so, what does it mean, my bread? Like just like a person is sustained through and lives through bread, through bread. So to through the sacrifice, we draw down from bina life and light a light to ziranpin shehim hamidos chagas, which are the emotional attributes. Chesed v'vor tiferes v'zeru lachmin. That's what it means, my bread. The Ishai to the to my fire, although the Chiv Ichlurei Megormer like it says, eat my friends. Shem Yud Beis Shvatim. What are the friends? Those are the twelve tribes. Yud Beis Bakar Chulu, the twelve cattle. 
So it's not the Midos, but it's the Merkavta Tata. So the Midos, the Merkavta Ila, the Avos, and the Shvatim, the Merkavta Tata, the, the concept of the Yudbiz Baka, of, of, of the, the a concept in the world of Bria. Or the Yudbiz Gvulea Lachsen. Vizesh goes over Ishai, and this is what it says to my fires. Lomar la ansh la nashai. What does it mean? Ishai that means to my to my men, to my people. Ad kanashona. That's the end of the quote. Has zayin chesmem. Maybe zohar zoharei chama. Sham imhau gos shikasafti with the points that I've written. So it's the lashon of this perush with a gos from the semach tzedek inside of it. Vechem Perush Bizohar Vaish Parshas Vayikra Dafkim also famed bays of Daftal of Risham Ral of Zalashono, Basilagani Hulu. And this is what it says in Zohar Vayikra that I came to my garden, begin this Barhu Kulu Mashki Mishikyo de Nahla. That since all were blessed from the flow of the river, I knew Vav Xavas to Zeranpin, this Barhu Minahara Yotse Meiden, that is the six sides of Zah. We're blessed from the river that comes out of Eden, Bina. Um, that's the river that comes out of Eden, blesses the six sides. Shabbos Galus Atik, that in Bina you have the revelation of Atik of Keser, Pnimius of Keser. So that's what blesses everything from the river. Veramaz kasav shazel inyan yispeu atzei havaya, and the Ramaz writes that this is the concept of that the trees of Hashem should be satiated. The trees are satiated from the river yispeu mimeim yispeu chayehem, that they're satiated with uh, their wa the waters, and they're satiated with their life. Miskashu kol chal bechavrei, and each one is tied to its friend. I know Iskalos of Avksavos Yachad, that is the the inclusion of the six sides together. Shizabali de Tosavos Haor, Mibichina Shalom, Ayla Mayla Mehamidos, that this is coming from an extra light that's much, much higher than the emotional attributes. Kinizka Bigar Sakodesh Semin Yud Beis. So it's like we brought before by Ichlureim, the friends should eat, which refers to the Midos. Coming from getting uh, so the you have yiskalu samidos is like he says yiskashu kol chad bechavre. Shvahinu yiskalu so vav ksavos yachad. That's the inclusion of the six sides together. Shizebali de tosav sa umi bechinas shalom ayla ayla mehamidos. That it comes from an extra light, from a, ha, a concept that's much much higher than the emotions. Can uh, the emotional attributes can is nizker bigger as hakodesh simenut beis di bara maskel vayam ayseret zdaka shalom. Besiders of Shara Kriyash, Mavadi Bramaskil, Isa Besifri, Gabi Tamli Cheu Bishamayim of Aratu Arba Ruchas Olam. And in the Mimer and the Siddur and Kriyashma, where it talks about how it, it's brought in Sifri, that you have to make Hashem king in the heavens and the earth and the four corners of the world. So that's like the six Midos in Echad. That you unite, you unite the, the Midos together, Behis Kalalos. And in the, in the gate of Shabbos, I guess, in the Siddur, where it talks about Kagavna and how these are united above in one, Be'echad, just like we said here, that you have the, the in, in Echad, you have the Shemayim uh, Va'arts and Arba Ruchas Olam, you have the six sides uniting above. Yarisi Morim Bisami, so that's Yari Im Divshi. What about Arisi Mori and Bisami? I had my myrrh and my spices. I know Iskashus Kavayamin Chesedim Netzach. That's uniting kindness with Netzach. I guess Mori and Bisami. Yari im Divshi Zeu Gvur Vehod. That um, my honeycomb and my honey, that's Gvur and Hod. I guess Gvuros de Gadlus. It's brought on uh, Rosh Hashanah. You have honey, which is uh, sweet, but it's, uh, it's Gvuros de Gadlus because the honey is Mehafech. Uh, 
and bitterness to sweetness. So I guess Yarim Divshi is in the side of Gvura. So they refers to Gvura and Hod. Whereas Mori and Bisami is on the the side of Yamin. Yenim Chalavi Yenim Tiferes Vyasod. My milk, my wine and my milk, that refers to Tiferes and Yisod. Azai Achakach Ech Lureim. So those are all the six uh, Midos. So and then afterwards we say the friends should eat. I, we, like we said here that the Lureim are the Midos. But no, here he says, according to this parish, the friends, that's Abba and Ima. So you have the Midos and then you have the friends, which is Abba and Ima of Bria. They're eating from the Midos from above. If you have the six Midos of Atsilos, they go down into the Hecholos of Abba, of Abba and Ima and Bria. That the loved ones should drink and be drunk together. That's the palaces of Zanukva, of the world of Bria. Came Peter Shah's Ramaz Sham. So that's how the Ramaz explains it there. Bezo and Lishai, and that's the concept of my fire. The Peter Shah's or Chama. Khan Shem Yud Bizbaka de Bria. Which is the concept of the twelve cattle of Bria, the Merkavta Tatash is Vakal Echad. It's all one idea. You're drawing down from the Midos into Bria, and the Ramaz explains it through this Pasuk, Yechalti Yarim Divshi, whereas the Zohar Chama explains, explains that Yechlu uh, Reim is the Yudbiz Bakar. But it, it's all uh, talking about the same levels, even though they use uh, the different parlance. Both the Ramaz and the Zayn Chesmet.